Ingenuity's shadow displays strange contrast variations that defy easy explanation. Are they due to motion blur, or is something else going on? I'll explore this question and the high-res color images from Ingenuity's 16th flight in this episode of Mars Guy. In episode 31, I pointed out the stroboscopic effect that makes the counter-rotating rotors look like they're moving in slow motion, despite spinning at 2700 RPM. And I also mentioned that the shadow of the rotors is lighter than other parts because of the blurring effect from their motion. This suggestion generated some skeptical comments and alternative explanations. One possibility is that the carbon fiber blades may be somewhat translucent. This could explain the combined leg and blade shadows. But thanks to various images of Ingenuity while parked, it's apparent that the shadows of the blades are just as dark as the other parts, including the legs. And here's Mars Guy for scale. It's also important to note that these shadows are not completely black because there's a lot of skylight coming from all directions thanks to the scattering of sunlight through the dusty Martian atmosphere. One of the arguments against the motion blur idea is that the blades look pretty sharp like the camera shutter speed is fast enough to freeze the motion. There is some blurring though that's easiest to see when ingenuity is close to the ground, but that doesn't really explain the combined leg and blade shadows. A possible clue is that ingenuity's nav cam uses a 640 by 480 pixel sensor with a global shutter. Check out the link in the description for this paper and more details. A global shutter avoids the distortion that can happen with a rolling shutter, like in this comparison. It also shows that a global shutter camera can sync up with moving fan blades in a way that makes them look translucent. You can see other parts of the fan behind them, like it's a double exposure. It seems like something similar is possible with Ingenuity's shadow, although it's still not totally clear what's going on. So let's move on to Ingenuity's latest flight, number 16. This one was a short hop, only 116 meters, about 380 feet at 10 meters altitude, or about 33 feet. Ingenuity has to fly back across the Sita terrain, the dune-filled rover death trap. It covered this terrain in a single flight going south, but the landing zone on the north side is rockier, so more precision is needed to land in a safe spot. Breaking up the flight helps to avoid accumulated heading error. Ingenuity got a look at the parallel raised ridges of this eroded fracture as it flew backward to the northeast. Here it is in the first color image of the flight, and there's also a just barely visible dust devil off in the distance, maybe the first one caught by Ingenuity. Zooming back out, I'll remind you about Ingenuity's dusty carbon fiber foot that's visible in all of these shots. I'll show them at about 10x speed to help convey the sense of motion, first in the actual direction, then reversed. You can really see the transition from the smooth terrain outside of Sita and the rocky outcrops at its edge. The final shot captured the tracks made by Perseverance back in August on Sol 177. The marks made by the grousers, the wheel cleats, still look fresh. So almost 100 saws of meager wind activity is not enough to wipe out the tracks. This last image was taken on the ground a few saws after landing. No mystery shadows in this one, but there are some pebbles with a curiously pink color. 